Without public funding, we don't move at all. The funding is a key component to the speed with which we can make change. You know, we just can't do it without. The first reason is the people that we train. So all these students and postdocs, they take that learning into so many different areas. They take that scientific literacy and can really help industry. Regenerative medicine is a, it's a strength of Canada and a lot of that happens because of the investment the government has put in in basic research for over 20 years. If we want to see big changes. It's going to come from publicly funded science, driving basic discoveries into you know, more advanced models and eventually out into consumers and out into the healthcare system. So without funding, without critical mass of resources, we are either not pursuing these ideas, or even worse, which is very commonplace right now, pursuing them with subcritical mass funding. We're in a climate where scholars are increasingly encouraged to get funding from private sources, but for many of the most important questions we have, it's a kind of public interest that's at stake, and their importance is not defined by whether they're immediately relevant to the private sector. If we don't have the public funding, we don't have that foundation. And so I think that the links all the way will crumble without the foundation of basic research.